tractor I've been making doors for for a while. Told me he had a couple tools he was looking to get rid of because they were duplicates and asked if I wanted them. And I don't have a drill press, so of course I said yes. Um, so this is it and it's central, which means this is an old problem right now. I was not super thrilled about that at first, but on their website, the Harbor Freight drill presses actually don't get all four reviews. And this is all solid metal, there's no plastic parts, so I figure how that could it possibly be. So the main problem with it was it didn't start. So after um, playing around with it for a little bit, originally I thought it might be the starting capacitor, but it turned out the, the original wiring to the switch was bad. So I just replaced that and now it starts up fine. The light works. Um, a lot of the components were frozen. After placing the startup cord, um, really the other big issue was there's a ton of surface roughs on all these cast iron parts, and <clears throat> the knob that operates the rack and pinion that moves the table up and down was frozen. It works by um, loosening this clamp in the back and then adjusting this side piece. The handle for that actually didn't come with it, but for now, a set of vice grips will work. So now that I have it moving up and down, I can take all the rust off of this vertical shaft. Um, this table was also frozen in place, but I've got that coming off. And there's a set screw that adjusts... Um, the degrees of the table, which was also frozen in place, which I loosened up with liquid wrench. I sprayed everything last night. The chuck key to work the chuck is also missing, but I don't think I'll have a problem replacing that. So basically, now that everything's moving and loose, I'm going to go through and remove all of this surface rust and then see how the drill actually works. There are a lot of great products on the market designed for removing rust and I've used them and they work great but I have a habit of using something and not replacing it and then I don't want to wait for it to come in the mail. So I happen to have some engine, engine degreaser and I've done this before on cast iron and it works pretty well, so I just sprayed it on here, let it soak in for a little bit, and then I have an abrasive wire brush bit that I mounted in a drill, a corded drill so I don't have to keep replacing batteries, and the torque is going to be better on these corded drills, and I'm just going to go through and take this surface rust off. <laughs> I did one run through of that a wire wheel with the degreaser and now I put a little WD-40 on there and I switched over to a brass tipped wheel because that seems to be working a little better. And I'm going to go at it again because there's still some deep pitted, pitted spots. And the key to using a, a, a heavy duty abrasive like this on cast iron is to move very quickly because if you stay in one spot at a time the softness of the cast iron, you know, you'll you'll make your surface quite uneven. I got 95% of the rust off of this bottom plate, and then I kind of lightly went over all these painted areas with the wire wheel as well. And then I'm just going to use a little soap and water to clean it up. Is clean enough for me. I am not one of those people that upkeeps tools in a super pristine way. If you do, I admire that. I think that's awesome. But 
I am not one of those people. So now that the rust is off this plate, to keep it from rusting again, I'm going to add a layer of paste wax on there. And then the painted surface, you can repaint this if you want. I'm not going to. I'll probably just put a little spray poly on it so it doesn't rust anymore and be done with it. So I'm going to use the same process on the rack and pinion gears and the vertical shaft and the, and the table as I did on the base. And I covered up the base because I'm an idiot and working from the bottom up you'll get everything you've cleaned dirty again. So I've been letting it soak with a mixture of WD-40 krill oil and that engine degreaser. And now I'm going to go at it with the wire wheel. press is all uh, cleaned up, I drilled a test hole and then cut it that hole in half on my skill saw and I'm going to check and it's pretty much perfectly 90 degrees square so it looks like this is drilling straight. With this all cleaned up and uh, having drilled a couple test holes, it seems to be working fairly well. The crank is still missing for the rack and pinion adjustment, but for now a vice grip will be more than sufficient enough for that. The missing chuck key is kind of annoying and um, it looks like this is a 16 millimeter. this is a 5 8 inch chuck, so it shouldn't be hard to find a replacement. But until I do, a trick is to get a drill bit that will fit in your chuck hole and a screwdriver in the key and you can loosen your chuck that way so that you can at least use it until the new one comes because you can hand tighten it and then once again use that drill press 